I'm actually just outside in minus 30. I cannot believe my eyelashes. It's so funny. It is minus 30. I'm going out to photograph one last time in the Rockies because I'm going to Australia in a few days. And again, it's minus 30 right now. So soon I'll be, actually, I think it may be more like minus 35. But soon I'll be in plus 35. So one last shoot here in the cold for for now. I'm obviously coming back. One last shoot here in the cold and it sure is cold, but yeah, this is pretty wild. Even just like walking across the little area that I'm in, I'm just so out of breath and I don't know. It's, it really takes a lot out of you when you're filming in this. So I have decided because it's so hard to work everything, it's gonna be really tricky to shoot. I'm actually gonna film all of this on my iPhone and I think it'll work out. And so it's kind of going to be challenging because I'm going to have to be quick for so many reasons. But one of them is because the iPhone battery is probably going to die really quickly. So yeah, I'm just walking to the area that I want to shoot. I'm not going to tell you guys where this spot is. It's in the Rockies um, privately. If you are coming out here and you want to know, you're more than welcome to message me. But I'm not going to, again, I'm not going to talk about where it is. It's kind of one where you just find on your own. It's super beautiful and it's really frosty out right now. So let's see what I can create. So where I'm going to shoot is, you can see that open water right over there that is the river. And basically I'm looking for, along that river, we'll be looking for a composition that faces that mountain. And it has beautiful light rays going on right now. So my friend James is over there. You can see the little dot way in the distance. I'm going to go up there and join him. And I think we'll be able to get a pretty good shot. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful light out right now and super frosty. It's just gorgeous. So first I have to tell you, I hope that you guys can hear me because I'm right by the river, but first I want to tell you, so I'm still using these gloves by this lovely company. And I have, I think these ones are the, like the best for such extreme temperatures that I'm in right now. So it's, um, I'll put the name up on the screen because I really don't want to get it wrong. But honestly, they're really, really great. I do have a liner underneath them and I feel like if I could go back in time a, a little bit, I would have ordered a bigger size of the glove because I didn't really count for that I would put a liner under. So it's a little bit of a tight squeeze. So just keep that in mind. If you do want to get a pair and you want to wear a liner under it, you might have to size up. Like it still fits, but it's just tight. Anyways, I've had um, the gloves on the left hand this entire time and my hand is really, really warm. The one that I'm filming with, this one just has the liner right now because I can't really film with both of the gloves on. So it's definitely getting a little bit frosty, but so far they, these are awesome gloves. Okay, so I ended up having to mic up because I just think that this water and being too close to the water might be a little too loud for the iPhone. So for these bits, I'm gonna use my camera and my mic. So I am basically composed with what I want to photograph. It is so cold. It's so tricky to set up the camera and everything. I'm going to have to shoot this. I am photographing with my 16 to 35, but I am definitely going to have to do a panel, a vertical panel for this because oh, everything is slow in the cold, by the way. So because I'm so close to the foreground, but I don't have that much uh, room for the sky above the mountain. So I'm gonna do two shots. I'm basically just gonna move the camera up a little bit to get more sky in there. And I am photographing with my six stop ND filter. So it's not quite sunset, but I don't need the 10 stop for this. And then I'm gonna do my exposure time right now is about 15 seconds. So just enough to get smooth out the water a little bit and make it look like a Sarah Lindsay long exposure. I'm really excited about this shot. It actually should be a good one and then I'm going to do a horizontal one as well so I have a little bit of variety and then I'm going to play around I see these grouping of trees over here 
I'm gonna play around with my 70 to 200 and focus in on that. I still know it's I will say that I am definitely struggling. My hands are very, very cold. My toes are okay. And it has nothing to do with the gloves. It's just like any time you're working in these cold temperatures and you're fumbling around with a lot of stuff, like it's just so hard to even turn on the camera. Like it's just your hands are cold. You have gloves on, two pairs of gloves. It really, really is just tricky. You can definitely feel my nose is um, something's definitely up with my nose. It's definitely getting a little bit too cold. So I'm going to finish up pretty quickly. I'm actually doing one more, um, one more image. I'm doing a horizontal one. This spot is definitely a spot for a 14 mil lens. So again, I'm going to have to do some sort of a pano, but it's really beautiful. So this is my horizontal. It is a little bit too tight up above the mountain, but I do love how the river is leading into the scene and we got those trees right there on that side and then i also like this bit of the water where it is like it's going down the rocks so it shows the white of the current because so i feel like that actually adds some interest into the water instead of just being so dark but yeah i actually really like the horizontal so we've got one vertical one here and then one horizontal